Readers, it's Friday, February 25th, and this week I did not read um, The Arabian Nights with 1,000 and One Nights. Um, I do read something else, though, so. So this week I read Bukai by Euphides, and it is an ancient Greek play that I had to read for my mythology class. Um, I'm, go I'm going to read the Arabian Nights or 1001 Nights. Um, I was just halfway through it and I have a really old version and so they use phrases like thou seest and not as easy to zoom through it. But it's really interesting and I'm going to talk about that next week. But I had to read Bukai. It's about the god Dionysus and the cult of Dionysus. So it was translated by Paul Wardrock. So translations really matter for reading this stuff. And the translation by Paul Rudra, it's an amazing, amazing translation. Um, he's really good at just making it seem natural, even though some of the style still isn't natural. I mean, uh, Dionysus starts off the play by saying, I have arrived, I am here, I, my name is Dionysus. And he pulled it off in a really natural way, oh, not, not context-wise, but text-wise. And he even uses like a modern vocabulary. Um, pardon my French, but like he uses words like wise ass and just things like that, which really give you the flavor and help you understand what the people who were experiencing it in the original text were feeling when they read it. Because if they use some other like obscure term, they might not have like gone the emotion behind it but using words that we still now associate with emotions. It really helps. Text. And overall, the book is just really amazing. There is some really quotable dialogue in it. It's a play. Um, did I say that? It's a play. There's some really quotable dialogue in it. Um, Dionysus says in one part, Speak wisdom to a fool and he'll think you have no sense at all. And I thought that was just an amazing quote. And also, reading texts as old with cultures so foreign, um, it, it really connects humanity, I guess. But what it, it teaches you a lot about the culture. And in here, they actually talk about the cult of Dionysus, which is a religion, and a really kind of prominent religion. I don't want to say too much um, about that, but I know it was really widely practiced. And they talk about that and describe what people in it did, and customs, and just things that are really important to history. And also, this is kind of just because I'm laughing at the same things people laughed at for. 2,000 years, and I am like omg at things that I hope people back then uh, omg at because there's a lot of a lot of violence. Uh, Dionysus likes making parents kill their children, so I, I hope people back then were like ah about that, but I can't be sure, I guess. And overall, it was just funny. It's a really grabbing story. There's no part that's boring. And a lot of Greek plays can be like that. I read um, Prometheus Bound a few weeks ago, and that play was just speeches and speeches and speeches. This one was still kind of speeches. You don't see much action, but it's very entertaining. So I will read, I'll finish The Thousand One Nights for next week. But I can't be punished because I read this book this week, which I'm very happy with my mythology teacher about. I don't think you asked a question, Dan, and uh, nobody else did because nobody else made a video this week. But we reached 100 subscribers this weekend. It's really amazing, and I just want to say thank you to all of you who subscribed to us. Um, well, 96 of you because five of us are us. But thank you to those 96 people who subscribed. It's very awesome, and we all love you for it greatly. Maybe I should ask a question this week. I don't ask questions normally because I'm really bad at asking questions. What else have you been reading lately? Um, I have been reading a lot of things like this. I um, love classic Greek texts. I've been reading other things like Junie D. Jones and Pirates of the Caribbean picture books because I'm tutoring my little cousin. Uh, so, what are you guys reading? Any magazines or newspapers you like? And do you have things to read for school, like you mentioned in your last video? So, 
Anybody else have to read anything besides these books? Dan, I will see you Monday, and hopefully one of you will upload new reviews this weekend. And everybody else, just have a great week. Bye.